the ground in East Texas where, where we're at is rock solid. And so we're trying to figure out how to get the water to the roots of the plant. The year before, we used cans and we put holes in them to get nutrients to the plant, to the roots. Went home and I started doing some research and I found out about another way of gardening. A chemical solution is added to water and that water is transported to the plants so the plants can uptake the nutrients and the chemical solution. The water reservoir that holds the water, we add chemicals to it. Generally, we add chemicals at the first of the month, and then a couple of weeks later, we'll amend those chemicals to keep the solution strong. We then utilize a water pump to transport the chemicals up the pipes to the plants themselves. The roots are always touching that chemical solution. They uptake the amount of water and chemicals based on the plant's needs. When they do that, they don't have to fight like in the ground for chemicals. They're pulling all those nutrients to the plants. This allows them to grow bigger. In aquaponics and hydroponics, the usage of water goes down. The byproducts are environmentally much more friendly than traditional. There's not as much waste or pollutants created. And we have an increased growth and yield in the crops. So they grow faster and they grow larger. If we could build our system or scale it to a larger size, we can provide a fresh, nutritious salad to our offender population once a week. With the Harvey Aftermath, we donated mainly basil is what we donated in various dishes that they had down there at Hurricane Harvey in the disaster relief efforts, which allowed us at the Michael unit to be able to contribute to the relief efforts in Harvey, even though it didn't directly affect us, we were still able to help out. Well, we've been donating herbs to homeless shelters. Uh, we've had such an abundance to our food uh, service department that we've uh, donated out to uh, different homeless shelters in the area. Essentially, we could really be a wave of change that goes through agencies across the nation. If all the agencies in Washington State and Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico, Arkansas, and Louisiana are interested in these programs and start adopting these philosophies, Texas could really be setting a framework that other agencies fall in with. And by doing that, we create a national movement. Mm -hmm.